just a short video on how to solder through whole parts. So I've got a die, I'm going to solder it now. You bend the leads like so to the right pitch. Uh, make sure you get the polarity right, the cathode and all that. Put that in there. Push it all the way down. Yep. Push it all the way down like so. Make sure the part is sort of lying firmly flat. Uh, the leads like that so it doesn't fall out. Uh, again, you want to heat so you get your iron um, anywhere between 330 and 370 degrees Celsius or 630 Fahrenheit to 700 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, I find 330 degrees Celsius is probably the best and you want to heat the pad and you want to heat the leg and then you want to heat the solder all to the same temperature before you remove the heat from the tip okay so do that now okay so i'll try and give you an optimal angle there so i heat the joint feed in the solder let it all melt looking for a nice shiny thing. sometimes you just want to feed a bit more solder just so that the flux can do its work and then remove and that's how it should look the joint should look shiny like so that's probably got a bit too much solder because it hasn't got a sort of a curved fillet um, so that's that do the other side put a bit less this time Okay, it should look something like so. There. Right. The joint is shiny, not dry, everything's sort of consistent. Then we clip the leads. To sort of about, about there. Okay. Now some people like to pre-cut their leads, so this one I've, I've got a sort of a used part, used transistor here, so I'm going to put that in. Um, again, this looks like it's going to self-hole, so it's not going to fall out because of the holes and the holes are pretty tight. So I'm just going to solder that like that as it is. Okay, heat, apply solder, then remove. Heat, solder, remove. Heat, both. Wait, that one, four, one, two, three, remove. Yep. So you want consistent joints with not too much solder. So something like that. Okay, now let's do these two connectors. One here, put that one like so. Turn it over. Just going to just going to tack that joint first, and then I'm going to reheat it again later. Okay, I try and keep my videos to about five minutes or less. So, and then I'm going to do a three-way now, and then I'll come back to them both. Okay, sorry, went off camera there. Turn it over. I'm going to tack the middle pin. Okay, now I'm going to bring them both up. I'm going to reheat that joint and firmly press the part against the board like so, so there's no sitting flush on the board and I do the same thing to this one notice there's a bit of a gap there so you may now reheat that single joint first then put it on there we 
go. Okay, now I'm going to finish them off. Finish these joints. So, people say do about three second count. So, heat one, two, three feet, remove. Heat. One, two, three, and remove. Heat. One, two, three, remove. No, I've gone over my five minute limit, so now there you go. Heat and remove. And then that's it. There we go. I bent that transistor back because I have to make room for the connector that, that's going to plug into the top of it here. <laughs>